Today's Mass Readings and Gospel Reflection December 18, 2022 Sunday The Fourth Week of Advent We bless your name, O, oh, for sending your own incarnate Son to become part of a family, so that, as he lived its life, he would experience its worries and its joys. We ask you, Lord, to protect and watch over this family, so that in the strength of your grace its members may enjoy prosperity, possess the priceless gift of your peace, and, as the church alive in the home, bear witness in this world to your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. First Reading A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah chapter 7 verse 10 to 14. The Lord spoke to Isaiah, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord, your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Isaiah answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, the word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 24 verse 1 to 6 Let our response be, Let the Lord enter. He is King of glory. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the rivers. Let the Lord enter. He is King of glory, who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in this holy place, one whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Let the Lord enter. He is King of glory. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Let the Lord enter. He is King of glory. Second Reading a reading from the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 1 to 7. Paul, a slave of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised previously through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. The gospel about his son, descended from David according to the flesh, but established as son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness, through resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him we have received the grace of apostleship, to bring about the obedience of faith, for the sake of his name, among all the Gentiles, among whom are you also, who are called to belong to Jesus Christ, to all the beloved of God in Rome, called to be holy. Grace to you and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. The Word of the Lord. Gospel Reading A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 1 verse 18 to 24. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary your wife into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. 
All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord.